time to go, buddy. Why hire a professional when we can have a dummy in a square? Why not just make a massive hit? Big shocker, I'm down at the compound again. I'm down here after pretty much the most productive three days I've had in my whole life. Like we made so much over the weekend. Before we get all into that, I just released some new merch on my website. It's been a while and you guys have been asking for it. So I thought I wanted to make something really cool. So I thought I'll uh, really give some effort into this and I feel like we leveled up this uh, little line we released. We released one gray hoodie with a green print and a big like cool logo on the back. And then this navy blue one with uh, different like fittings different sorts of hoodies and stuff so I really like them they fit really well they look stylish and I love them so uh, everyone that is purchasing a hoodie gets an entry for a giveaway I'm giving away a bike again I feel like every time I'm gonna release merch I'm just gonna give away bikes because I have old bikes at home and uh, why not give them to you guys? Because you are the guys that are supporting me. You guys are involved with this channel, this little community that we're building. So one hoodie is one entry. If you get one of each color, you get two entries. If you get one for your cousin, your grandma. Anyways, if you get more hoodies, you get more entries. That's pretty much what I wanted to say. So uh, so if you follow this channel, uh, in the last video, I told you guys that we are going to get rid of the big Crankworks box. And behind me here, there is no Crankworks box anymore. We can just throw some footage from that because I started just on my own randomly. So uh, it's Cut to that. It's time. It's time to go, buddy. This was honestly like my first major build here at the compound. Uh, I built it to like practice tricks for crankworks and just prepare for the big events when you show up and there's just massive on and offs and drops and stuff like that. And uh, it helped me a lot over the years, but it's time for a change. So I'm gonna take it down and I'm out here by myself at the compound and I'm gonna start on my own to take it down. I'm actually super excited about this major product that we have at, here at the compound this year. We're gonna take this one down and we're gonna build a step down further down. So that's gonna be a pretty, pretty big project this year, but we're gonna do it properly. We're gonna build a major feature down below. And so I have some fresh new stuff to train on. I feel like my contest riding isn't really lacking on the on and offs. It's lacking more on other stuff. So I'm gonna focus more on that and just make the most out of these years when I'm riding contests and stuff and just prepare as much as I can to stay safe, progress, push my limits, push the sport, whatever. And I'm also gonna push my carpenting skills today. I'm crap at working with like wood and stuff. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna start by just picking out, like taking down all these boards all the way down. And then we'll see what happens after that if the whole freaking tower is gonna fall down. But it's a really big tower actually to take down. So I'm gonna start by doing it myself, which is probably not the best idea ever, but just get up here without a bike. It's quite tricky to be honest. Hopefully this board doesn't snap when I walk over. Ooh. Every time I'm up here, I forget how freaking big this thing is. Yeah, I quickly realized it's going to be a bit trickier and take a bit longer time than I uh, expected. Uh, two boards down and like all the wood and stuff like the whole holes from the screws are just completely filled with like mud or like like the wood it looks like the wood just zipped up again but obviously it didn't but yeah it's a bit tricky but I'll do I'll, I'll make the best out of it I'll, I'll do as many boards, boards as I can but Starting to get some flow in at least, and uh, yeah, a couple boards just fell off a lot quicker than the ones prior. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a grind. It's gonna take a lot of time to take down this box. I think I uh, underestimated how long it's actually gonna take, but.
All right, so we know we're really close, but I feel like I got a good start and uh, yeah, managed to get away pretty much all of the boards that are on the flat surface. There's just a couple more here and then we're going up on a transition, but that was like a good two or three hours of just banging it out. Uh, it's quite annoying, but I managed to get away all the boards except that one, because that one's actually just made for the railing. So I need to put down the railing before I can take that one off. Uh, yeah, I mean, the boards and all the like material seems really, really like mint. We can, we're gonna be able to reuse a lot of it. And yeah, that's the stack that I managed to get up today. And yeah, it's just good to be out working. We're gonna check back tomorrow and we're gonna continue this uh, build <laughs> so we're now kind of sad to take it down to be honest but sometimes you need to sacrifice to evolve so that's what we're doing here this year we started to get some progress on that after a few hours of work and then i got a call from Theo saying we might have a digger over the weekend and i was like oh shit it's a lot of work to do now like a local rental company just dropped this digger off for three days so we could do whatever we want with it really the thing is when we got a digger delivered like where do we even start? I don't even know how to operate these. I, like I can operate a digger, but I can't really work in this sort of uh, angle. It's quite steep here, so it's quite scary to dig. So now there's no landing here anymore either, but we can roll some footage from that as well because we obviously film everything we do because we're geeks and... Uh Not gonna lie, I kind of shit my pants there. It's a bit too steep from what my expertise are covering, but I made it up alive. We're gonna try to get rid of all this mulch now and then try to get all the dirt down so we can build a landing, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not supposed to be in this, especially not in a steep hill, but it's just what it is. Someone's gonna have to do it. Do it. Not to be like that, but this is going pretty good. I think I'm. I'm not gonna say that I'm better than I thought because I'm actually not good at all. But I think we'll survive, and that's a big plus for me since we're in a in a quite steep hill. But it's looking quite good. Exactly what I mean. I'm trying to be smart and build myself a road, but it's obviously way too crap for myself to even get up there. Why hire a professional when we can have a dummy in an excavator? Yeah!
don't know if y'all can see this, but Max really did a good job operating the thing. It's looking really nice, actually. This looks really good. I mean, for being in a digger for three days straight, <laughs> It looks really nice actually. I gotta say that I gotta say over the last three days that my skills improved a little bit. In the beginning I was just afraid of going up the steep things and now I feel like I'm a superhero in here and <laughs> I do whatever I want, but it's getting quite good. I mean yeah. look, did you see the Yeah it looks so good actually. The smooth and out. Maybe I should it's just gonna be pretty nice when the grass is gonna grow in there as well. Should we just start a building company? Instead? Yeah, probably, yeah, we should do that. <laughs> Max and Tio does it all. No guarantees at all. Hey! <laughs> So the plan was to just get rid of this landing and just scrape everything down and make it nice and uh, just clean here and uh, build a big landing down there and then we're gonna build a step down tower. So the big trick was actually to just get all the material down and make it nice again. Uh, it was actually quite scary to just back all the way down and keep the excavator level because it's quite a steep angle here and it feels like I'm gonna do like a, I'm just gonna roll it backwards so it was quite scary to work with it because we didn't have an operator that could help us so I had to just grab the bull by the horn and do it myself but yeah I think I'm, I'm actually happy I think I leveled up my excavator skills a lot like tremendously over the weekend and uh, yeah we basically got rid of all the material we had like a big bump and stuff and just got it all down there to a massive landing so I guess we'll have the pillars going up here somewhere and then just make like we're gonna have a bit of a platform here go like that roll in kicker in boom but it's gonna be like a bit higher than that. We had a couple of guys helping us over the weekend, so I'm super thankful for that. Thanks to everyone that came out to help. Uh, we had a couple uh, guys just touching up this in run for the mid set, and then we managed to just build a brand new hip here that we weren't even supposed to do. We just had a kicker left over the on and off, so we thought, thought like, why not just make a massive hip into the big jump over there? This used to just be a big berm all the way down. And now we have a huge landing here instead. I also did go down here with the digger to just put some more mass up on it and make it a bit more sturdy. Mid set is also fully rideable. We got a couple of dudes that just smacked out that landing. We got a big touch up on the berm here for the little line. We got a big touch up on the kicker here. I mean, this is just insane. Now we have a big landing, flat bottom and big jump. We got a line now from nowhere. It used to be a berm here. We just roll into this jump. Now we're gonna jump into it. And also from just making that, we just realized that we found so many new sorts of lines that we can build. Now we're gonna build a new hip in there and then we're gonna build a dirt hip left back on the spine side. So we're gonna take that wooden kicker away. Everything just builds on and on and on and on and on. We also started the process of building a tabletop jump here. So we're gonna build a bit of a tabletop jump for the kids or beginners to work on as well. Uh, one thing I really, really wanna do is that I wanna host a massive session. I wanna do it like a jam and every one of you guys can come out and ride with us. And I wanna do it more than just once. I wanna have like massive sessions where you can come ride with us, have a good time. And just, if you don't even ride it, just wanna come hang out. I wanna have that open for you guys as well. I wanna have this as a set, like a, like a, like a place where we can meet and hang out and I can uh, like meet all of you guys. So uh, we're gonna, definitely gonna do some barbecue nights here over the summer. We're gonna do some jams. We're gonna, I don't even know. We can just random stuff together. Like thanks a million to Renta, the guys that like borrowed the excavator. That's insane that we can just borrow it for free. That Thanks a lot for that. And, uh, for now, we still have the mid-set rideable. We haven't had that all year long yet. And we have this one's absolutely running perfect. This one is rideable. We can hit it from the hip on the side. So yeah, we got three lines up and running now. So uh, yeah, we just need to build a step down tower and start practicing for crankworks. And we have a massive summer ahead of us. 
thank you guys a lot for watching i think that was pretty much it we did a lot over the weekend hope you guys enjoy those build lapses the build videos are actually some of the favorite ones for me to make i love to make them and uh, hope you guys like to watch them as well i love the process of just changing stuff and evolving and yeah just doing stuff with your friends and creating some cool stuff together is it's what i live for really subscribe like Thank you guys for watching. Enter that giveaway if you want to win a bike. Peace.